What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well. Well, I've been working on a few things kind of behind the scenes while I've been on maternity leave. And one thing that I've been working on that you might not know about is I did a complete overhaul of my private practice website. It was time. Uh, it's a long story, I'm not gonna get into it, but suffice it to say, I basically just took my own DIY Your Therapist website course myself and started from scratch in making my private practice website. So since I've had websites on my mind lately, I thought it would be helpful to share some tools on YouTube that you can use to make your website more likely for clients to find you and book with you. In today's video, I'm gonna share one easy fix that you can make to your website that makes it far more likely that folks who are visiting your website will want to book with you. So if you're interested in learning about that, stay tuned. Welcome to Private Practice Skills. I'm Dr. Marie Fang, psychologist in private practice. I post videos offering tools I learned the hard way about starting and growing private practice so that you don't have to. Now, I know I like talking about websites a lot and one factor that I focus on a lot is SEO because if you have a fabulous website but no one's able to find your website, well, <laughs> it's not doing you any good then. But even if your website is totally optimized for SEO and you have lots of visitors stopping by every month, it's possible that you're making a major mistake on your website that might be making those folks just sort of walk away after they see your page. One of the biggest mistakes that I see therapists make on their website that I have been guilty of myself too is focusing way too much on your credentials and your expertise and your training and yourself. And it makes sense that most of us make this mistake because this is how we were taught to write in graduate school. And yes, if you are submitting a paper to an academic journal, absolutely you want to write professionally and you might be saying like, Dr. Marie Fang specializes in blah, 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 blah. But if you're wanting to capture a potential client and have them build trust with you through your website, talking like that is not gonna do it for you. Now let me explain why overly focusing on our credentials on our website is a mistake it doesn't draw the connection between you and the person visiting your website who's asking, can this therapist help me with my issue? And furthermore, even though at face value, it makes sense to focus on your credentials on your website because you want to be clear that you are qualified to help the person who's stopping by your page, it ends up having this unintended effect of the person feeling like you sound like you kind of know it all and you really can't relate with or understand or see clearly what their experience is because it seems so mismatched with what's going on with them. I know it's likely you're probably hearing this thinking, uh, Marie, that doesn't make any sense at all. So let me illustrate this with an example. So let's imagine that you're a therapist and you specialize in working with couples and let's assume that you've gone through all of the awesome Gottman training so you're best equipped to serve couples. Now let's imagine for this therapist, this is what you say at the top of your website. I've worked with couples for over 10 years. I'm a Gottman certified therapist and I completed a specialized couples training course focused on affairs. Yada, 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 yada. You kind of get the idea. This is how a lot of therapists talk about themselves on their website. But let's take a step back for a moment and imagine that you are the potential client that is wanting to see if this therapist can help them deal with recovering from an affair. When you read this statement on their website, this is what it sounds like. This therapist is overly focused on themselves. They're such an expert on relationships and don't have any of their own relationship issues that they will judge me for my relationship issues. And ultimately, they have no idea what I'm going through because when you talk like this on your website, you're just talking about yourself and you're not talking about your client. And that is where we need to make a shift. So instead of talking like this on your website, here is the easy fix that I know all good therapists are so capable of doing. Anytime you're about to write for your website, close your eyes and imagine that you are sitting in your office with your ideal client. Or if you meet via teletherapy, you're sitting at the computer in session with your client. And imagine that this client has just divulged the deepest details of what they're going through, their pain, their challenges, etc. When you're in session with that client and they shared all of their pain with you, how do you initially respond? How you would actually talk to this client in this moment is how you want to write on your website. Now we know from our training that we don't respond to a client sharing their pain by saying, don't worry, let me tell you all the ways I can help you. Here's all my credentials, let's go. No, we take time to validate their pain. We take time to acknowledge how brave they are for being willing to share, even just arriving in therapy and, and, and divulging all of their pain and their secrets, etc. 
this is what we want to do on our website. We want to acknowledge the pain that this potential client is experiencing and acknowledge how brave they are for stopping by our website looking for a therapist. It's a huge deal. And yeah, in session with clients, eventually you might say, you know what, I've worked with X number of couples through this type of issue, I can help you. But that's not what we start with. We need to validate the pain points. So let's imagine how this couples therapist we've been talking about might rewrite their website so that it connects a lot better with their ideal client. Now they might say something like, if you've experienced an affair in your relationship, you may be questioning whether your relationship can ever heal and recover from it. And you might feel like your whole world is falling apart. And you may wonder whether anyone else is able to help you. I'm so glad you're here. I know it takes a huge amount of courage to even begin searching for a therapist you know, dot, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Now, if we look at these two ways of writing side by side, one where you're focusing on your qualifications and the other where you're focusing on validating your client's pain points, you'll notice there is a very specific difference between these two writings. The first writing is focusing on talking about yourself and the second writing is focusing on talking about your client. And this is why the second way of writing is so much better because as therapists, we know talking about ourselves is not the ticket to helping people feel better. And it starts on our website. It doesn't wait until our clients show up in the office for a session. And really, if you can write on your website, like how you'd interact with a client in session, it really gives them a preview of what it's like to work with you. And so it's all the more accurate representation of who you are, how you work with them and all of that. And ultimately when your ideal client stops on your website and sees that you're immediately validating their pain, empathizing with them, praising them for seeking help and telling them that change is possible, they're gonna build trust with you. They're gonna feel seen, feel like you know what you're doing. All the other stuff that you're trying to do by naming your credentials, they will believe it already. And then at the end, at the bottom somewhere, you can name your credentials. You can say you're Gottman certified. You can say you've worked with couples for X number of years or whatever it is, but that comes later. So if you would like to implement this easy fix to your website, here's how to do it. First, scan through the text on your website and just kind of get an overall sense of how often you say the word you as opposed to the word I or me. If you're noticing that the ratio is leaning more towards I and me compared to how often you say you, then it might be a good idea to follow through on this exercise. Ideally, your website should be talking far more about your client than you are about yourself. So we want to tip the ratio so that you see the word you showing up far more often than you see I or me. Then go ahead and ask yourself that question. If my ideal client just divulged to me in session all of their deepest pain points and challenges, how would I respond? And next, rather than writing down your answer, I suggest you pull out your phone and record a voice memo response where you're speaking directly to your client giving that response. And the reason why I suggest you do a voice memo instead of writing things down is because for, at least for most of us, when we speak, we are more likely to sound like how we speak than when we write. Sometimes when we write, we just kind of sound like somebody else. <laughs> and so might as well record the voice memo, sound like your most authentic self and then go ahead and transcribe that into writing for your website. You can use this tip for all the different parts of your website. Like for each services page, you can speak to each specific need of the type of person that you're helping on each page, etc. And this applies honestly across all of your marketing materials. So I suggest doing this on your psychology today profile or whatever therapist directories you're listed online. This applies to social media. This applies to YouTube. And you'll notice if you went through this video and counted how many times I said you in this video, as opposed to me or I, um, I didn't count, but I'm quite sure I said you way more often, except in this little segment right now where I just demonstrated that I said, you get the idea. We want to speak directly to the person that we're talking to who's visiting us. Just like, just like we're doing, I'm doing it right here. We're doing, I'm trying, I'm trying to do it right here at least. And before we close, I'd like to thank therapynotes.com for sponsoring this video. Therapy Notes helps with scheduling, notes, billing. They have a HIPAA secured telehealth platform. And honestly, they have such a long list of other services available on their platform. I can't even name them all here. If you'd like to check out Therapy Notes to see if it's a good fit for you and your practice, you can get two months to try it for free with no commitment just by clicking the link in the description of this video. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't taken a look at your website in a little while, like I hadn't, <laughs> Maybe you might want to check it out, see if it could use a little tune-up because that's exactly what happened to me and then I ended up doing a complete 
overhaul my entire website. But you don't have to overhaul your whole website. If you make these tweaks on your website, it'll have a huge impact on your business. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. I finished the video, my baby's sleeping and she's still sleeping, she's still sleeping. She's sleeping upstairs now, in her crib, instead of here, which I know I'm gonna miss holding her, but also I'm just really glad I can bend over and stuff. Move around, not that I, I don't do this.